All right, guys. So I got this from Lowe's. Craftsman's pretty good. I mean, they got some good tools. They pretty good with what they make. I didn't want to stop. See, it ain't no oil on the stick, but that shouldn't stop it from starting. So that's the two cycle oil. This much? Yeah, and let it sink down. And I'm gonna change out the gas. We got some fresh gas. Oh yeah, it's a lot in there now. So you gotta let it drain down. But if that don't work, I'm gonna have to take this cover off, which is three bolts. And underneath here, I'm gonna have to pull that spark plug and see what we got. But I ain't had this thing, I ain't had this thing a year yet. So there's no way this damn thing should be freaking broke, dude. So this is high, that's low? Uh, yeah, that's pretty high. That's pretty high. We don't want to cut that grass too low and Let's kill the grass. Out. Well, we, we want to do one cut. Let's do a test cut. But start it up. Let me do it. Yeah, that's what I kept doing the sound. That's what I kept doing. It was started and stopped. That's why I said why you stop it. you call a yard jesus i ain't even changed my clothes and i'm fucking out this bitch sweating and doing freaking yard work well it gotta get done gotta get done can't mess around and get an hoa fine because i'm letting my yard get out of whack but i was trying to find where the choke part was at for the choke part was at for the uh carburetor but it looks like there's a fuel line that goes from the primer where you, it's a little butt, you push to prime it. So if I really had to choke, like clean out the carburetor, it looks like I would've had to do it through there because I didn't see no other opening to get to that carburetor. But yes, I got that joint up and running, hallelujah. 